welcome to another episode of Friend Outdoors. On today's episode, when the calendar changes to November and the rut begins to kick into full swing, it's a great time to spend as many hours as possible in your best tree stands because you never know when you can get a good buck in front of you. All you need is a hot doe to pass by your stand. When Mark gets up and hears rain on the roof, he decides to check the radar. With rain in the forecast for hours, he decides to go to an elevated blind. The deer are very active this morning, and the show he watches is second to none. Here's what happens. On a chilly, wet morning, I was surprised that these deer were up and moving. I really expected them to hold up until the rain quit. After checking a doe, this buck goes to one of the scrapes on the edge of this small field.
when this smaller buck shows up in the field, this eight point's not going to have any of it. With one of these does getting close, this eight point buck is getting a little more aggressive trying to keep other bucks away from her. As another buck approaches, this eight point does a snort wheeze to give him a warning to get out of the area. This buck is within 20 yards of my blind. If only he'd have been a little older.
This eight point moves over to the edge of the field and starts to rub on this tree. Notice as he keeps checking the tree for the scent that he's leaving. Throughout the morning, this buck went from one scrape to another to freshen him up. Even though there was a lot of deer on this field this particular morning, I tried to focus on this eight point, and I'm glad I did because of all this footage I was able to capture.
Eventually, the doe that this eight point was showing so much attention to exited the field, and of course, he followed her. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. Here's a quick recap. On this particular morning when I got up, I could hear some light rain on the roof. So I got up and I checked the weather channel and I saw that rain was in the forecast. Light, but it looked like it was going to be steady for a while. So I decided to go to an elevated blind and get in it to stay dry. Because if you'd have went and climbed in a tree, you'd have been soaking wet in no time and it would have made for a miserable hunt. And with the rut in full swing, I wasn't about to do that. So I decided to go get in a blind and I climbed in there. And over the last several years, I've noticed I've had very good luck on rainy days. I always believed that the deer would bed up during the rain and then when the rain quit, they'd get up and start moving around. But as I've hunted the last several years in the rain, in a blind, I've seen a lot more movement than I really believed. And on this particular day, this hunt is in the top five all time for me. Um, the rut's in full swing, the deer are moving, we actually had a buck here. He was in lockdown with this doe. He was staying really close to her. I stayed really focused on the buck with the camera, um, so I didn't get some of the other deer interactions as much, but I'm glad I did because I got this buck snort wheezing. He was pawing at the ground. He was rubbing the trees. He would try to run off other bucks as they try to sneak in there and steal that doe off. But he was pretty aggressive. And uh, he was about a three and a half year old buck, near as I know, or believe. And I know in some areas in this country, that's a small deer. Other areas, it's a big one. So you know what's big in your area. For me, this was a nice deer for my area, but I really was hoping for something bigger. And I was hoping that if nothing else, if I gave this buck a pass next year, you know, maybe he'd really blow up. So I rolled the dice on that and I decided just to film him and watch and let it go. And it was quite a show he put on. He was out in this field for 45 minutes or an hour, probably just moving back and forth, staying right on this doe and trying to keep the other bucks away. It was really something to see. Again, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. It was pretty exciting to see all that happen. Uh, if you did, please hit that thumb up like button. We really appreciate it. If you got any comments, leave them below. I'll try to answer them. Also, hey, subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate it. It doesn't cost you anything. Also on this channel, underneath the shorts tab, we got a lot of short videos that are 15 seconds. A lot of different animals. We really think you'll enjoy that. We'd also like to thank our military personnel. Thank you for your service. Now for a preview of our next episode on Friend Outdoor Adventures.